What's up, gang? It's Doom Verna Dingo. And I found some puffballs. Oh, and the Dingo found a gray cat. He's coming up. Found some puffballs out in my yard. I thought I would shoot a video identifying them. Make sure I get underneath here. Got some puff balls and this one looks like it's got some kind of mold maybe growing on the bottom of it there that white stuff I'm gonna grab I see three of them here where's the other one here's one that's flattened there well dingo must have just stepped on that one huh here's another one hi cat hello cat hi Hi, great cat. You're very friendly. You're a very sweet cat. Here's some little or small ones. Oh, I'm shooting video, cat. Come on now. Yeah, you're very sweet. Oh, I'm gonna wrestle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my hand and stuff. All right. Hi. Hello. Hi, cat. You cannot eat the mushrooms. No. All right, I will see you guys at the uh, the table inside to identify these. Until then, peace out. What's up, gang? Back inside, I've got the uh, National Audubon Society Field Guide to North American Mushrooms. I got our puff balls we found out in the yard, and uh, let's get to it here and try to find. Our, uh, our subjects here, lift the camera up, uh, get our thumb tabs, and look for a uh, puffball tab, there we go, there's our puffball tab, and we're going, and here we go, got real lucky with this one, flip right to them, these appear like where my pinky's at here these three appear to be the closest representations of what we have here and if we look closely we see the top has uh i don't know what you would call it like little speckles they are they're slightly raised like uh like kind of like it has cracked is what it feels like i'm not sure we've got several specimens so let's look at let's look at what we got here we've got the gem studded puffball which looks looks close but i don't think because of how this uh the little dark ring that almost looks like a nipple there. We don't have that on these. I don't see any dark little ring like that. And those seem a bit more round and the bottom looks different a little bit than what we have here. Like it gets lighter underneath on those. So I don't think that's it. Then we have the purple spored puffball. And the pig skin poison puffball. I believe it's one of these two. Um, the purple spores, and this one seems to have purple spores also. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to flip to page 822, and we're going to read and see uh, see what it tells us, because I'm kind of leaning towards the bottom one, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure the pattern. It seems like the bottom one, but we'll, we'll continue here. Like I said, page 822. So, try to find that. Uh, let's 
Sorry about the one-handed operation here. And actually, as I'm sitting here, one of them stinks. I can actually smell it. It's probably the one with the mold on it. If I can find that. Yeah, this one smells. See if the other ones do. Yeah, they these two both stink. These ones do not. Oh, this one, this one may have spored out already. It feels like yeah, they feel hollow. These do not. So we're going might get to see some. Uh, cool stuff on the inside of these things too but yeah those two definitely smell bad these ones don't I didn't check these these ones do a little bit so I'd say this one's the fresher one I'd say these have been sitting for a little bit so let's uh, let's see we have the Purple spored puffball. That's what we got here. And it reads as follows Hemispherical, minutely cracked, tannish, with white interior becoming deep purple. Brown with large, persistent, dark violet cup-like remains oh so i believe that eliminates that eliminates that one because i saw some uh old decayed ones and they are not cup shaped like this shows it shows here that that's what it would turn into so i believe that's that kind of eliminates that one i believe so let's flip back to where we were and part of the reason I do this is to show you guys the process that it takes a while. So I don't believe that it's this one because of what it just said. So now I'm going to go to page 839 to the pigskin poison puffball. So what did I say? 839. So back to flipping through the pages here. Uh... Closer. Like I said, sorry guys. But these are the pains that I go through to identify these things for you guys. Uh, let's see. Um, there we go. Focus. Sorry. We have pigskin poison puffball. Let's read. It's but you can see the uh, Latin names there. Warted, thick-skinned, yellow-brown ball. Opening by pour at top. And then it gives our measurements: one to four inches in diameter, or wide roundish to somewhat flattened, covered with rough warts, rind like yellow-brown, yellow-brown, yeah, that's about right, rind, flesh, white, opening by, by pore at top, spore mass, whitish, soon becoming marbled and purplish black to black. So, like I was saying, we're going to cut these open, and we're going to see if it if it has in it what it says. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, the ones that smell, I'm guessing, are already purple or black in the middle. And then there it says, July to November edibility poisonous single to many on the ground 
on wood debris near trees in woods, sandy soil. That's where we found it here in the yard. It's It was uh, on in the roots of the trees pretty much there. We got box elders, I think, and a couple ashes. Widely distributed in North America, also known as S. Or orantium. This mushroom is the most common species of Solenderma, Solaroderma. In parts, in parts of its range, it is sometimes parasitized by the parasitic parasitic bolete. Interesting. It it. It is often thought to be some kind of puffball, hence the common name, but its thick rind-like skin and marbled purplish-black spore mass distinguish it. Although sometimes used in place of truffles, it is known to cause nausea and vomiting. Huh. Weird. So, since I think that's what it is, we're going to look on the inside of these mushrooms... So let me place the camera over here, and I will get try to get it so we can see all these. And I'll try because I believe this one here will be our best representation. It it feels firm. These ones now it said it has a port at the top, and Let's see if we can see right there is a port. That's where the spores will come out. And then right here is one, I believe. And I don't know if maybe no, nothing's going to come out. But we will open these up to see what is inside. It has the thick rind, like it was saying, and it's got the purplish black spore mass inside, like it was saying. So, and it smells very mushroomy, but it doesn't smell rotten like these ones do. Now this one's firm-ish, not as firm as this one. And once again, you can see how that looks. It's purplish black, marbled like it said. You can see the whitish marbling. Hopefully you can see that. Once again, I'm going to use the... Uh, I don't know if the mold will, see this one has the mold on the bottom, so I don't know, maybe that's penetrated it and done something to the spore mass inside. We can see here, it appears not, but it appears that it may have eventually, because you can see how dark that is around, around where that, that mold is. It makes that like kind of a stem that it has. See, this is the other half of the previous one. It does not have that dark, that dark discoloration there. So that was going to creep up in there and infect it somehow and do or infect, affect, I suppose. But here is our grand finale. This is the most firm one. This one does not stink like the other ones did. So I'm hoping perhaps it will change and it does look at that we've got white and purple so this is the pigskin uh, poisonous mushroom it does not change nearly as fast as the red mouth bolete that we had uh, checked out earlier it seems like this will take a while to uh, change fully, if if it will change fully, I don't know if it will. But there you have it, folks. I'm glad you tuned in. 
I'm glad we learned some shit. This is once again, let me let me flip here and make sure I'm getting the name right because I don't want to be giving out bad information. It is the pigskin poison puffball. That's what we have here. You can see how the rind there, how it's got a little little thick layer. And then we can look here, and you can see that same rind and the purple spore mass. And, uh, yeah, what we just demonstrated. So, until next time, guys, get out and look at the trees.